everyone. Myself Nupur Sharma, Assistant Professor at Biyani Group of Colleges, welcomes you all on behalf of Guru KPO. Today, my video lecture is on the topic Kinesian Consumption Function. The Kinesian Consumption Function depends upon income and propensity to consume. Now, the propensity to consume depends upon these following factors price level, rate of interest, stock of wealth, taste and preferences, or the different fashions, etc. Now, the Kinesian consumption function is a short run model. So, this consumption function is also a short run concept. Therefore, these factors which determine the propensity to consume remains constant and the propensity to consume depends entirely on the level of income. So, our consumption function is in the form C is equal to A plus BY where A is autonomous consumption which does not depend upon on the level of income B is marginal propensity to consume C is consumption and Y is our income level Here is our consumption function diagram On X axis we have national income and Y axis we have consumption expenditure This is OZ line which is the line of equality that is any point on this line the point is equidistant from both the axis because this is a 45 degree because this line is at 45 degree. Now, CC dash shows the consumption function curve. Here, the portion O to C shows autonomous consumption that part of consumption which does not depend upon the level of income. So, it is denoted by A. A that is autonomous consumption. Now, point E is the break even point because at this point the income level is equal to consumption. Now, before point E, we have negative sales because at this part consumption is greater than our income. Therefore, we are not able to save and this portion shows the negative sales. Now, after point E, we have positive sales because after point E, the level of income is greater than our consumption level. Therefore, we are able to save. So, this is our consumption function curve. For more information, log on to www.gurukpo.com. Thank you.